Hey everybody, how's it going? Rumpa here, welcome to another Nancy Drew Adventure. It is early in the morning for me, so if my brain doesn't work correctly, then it is what it is. Getting caffeinated up for the day, and you know what? Let's just jump into it before I say something stupid, so. Alright. Continue the game. Alright, we last left off, we opened up this locket, had a picture in it, which said green bottle under on it green bottle under whatever the hell that means these riddles whoops all right back it up uh, we could probably go back to the house we just came out here to grab that so. let's head back to the ranch to the ranch Wanna be a cowboy, baby. Alright, we gotta remember to take this off. I'm gonna get yelled at again, right? Not today. Not today. There we go. Keep your eyes peeled for her to figure out how to open that trunk Mary brought from Rawlings. We got that. I'm finished with that. Alright, any chores? Sweeting. Right. She'll be coming around the mountain when she goes. Oh my goodness. You lay. I can't take any more. Where are you going? You can't leave. The Raleigh said we were to have a cookout and entertain our guest. Yeah, well, I don't call this entertainment. It's worse than whatever that stuff was you cooked. That was lamb ragu for your information, and it was great! If you couldn't appreciate it, it's because your taste buds are about as sophisticated as a sand fleas. I think I'll turn in too. Night, ma'am. Next time, just stick to burgers. Et tu, Brute? You see that? You see what I put up with? Day in and day out, I cast my culinary pearls before ungrateful, uncultured swine. My goodness. Well, I'll show them. I'll write a best-selling cookbook, that's what I'll do. Then I'll get my own TV show, then I'll do a movie, and while they're out here punching cattle, I'll become a gazillionaire. Gazillionaire. Oh my gosh! It's a big-ass horse. The pump house blew just as the horse was galloping oh, away. Oh my, this is awful. Maybe Shorty was right. Maybe that horse is a bad omen. I'm more inclined to think that someone is using that horse to divert attention. What do you mean? It's possible that while everyone's attention was on that horse, someone sabotaged the pump house. Why on earth would someone sabotage the pump house? Someone may be trying to chase you off the ranch. But why? That, I don't know. Yet. You don't think Tex or Shorty or Dave is somehow involved, do you? It's possible, but I just don't know yet. Oh, my. You might not be safe there. Maybe we should send her home. I'll be fine. Really, I want to help. And I can help. Well, it sounds like we could certainly use your help. Can you think of anyone who might have a grudge against you? No, but I'll tell you what. Ed and I will put our thinking caps on, and if anything comes to us, we'll call you. 
Have you called the sheriff and told him all this? Not yet. Tell her about the storms. Tell me about the what? The storms. You need to be careful when you go riding because it can be sunny one minute and pouring down rain the next. I'll be careful. Good. And if you have any more questions, just call. One more thing. Until I figure out what's going on, it would probably be a good idea not to mention my suspicions to anyone at the ranch. Of course. Keep in touch. Of course. I will. Bye. All right, let's call the sheriff. Didn't we already call him? Hernandez. This is Nancy Drew. I'm the one who's staying at Shadow Ranch. I remember. In fact, I spent a good part of last night out there. I know. I never got a chance to talk to you. Is there something I can do for you? Thanks for your help. You bet. Talk some about the pump house. Hernandez. Hello, Sheriff. It's Nancy Drew again. Hello, Nancy. What can I do for you? I guess not. Thanks for your help. You bet. Alright. Um buh, 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 buh. Your eyes peeled for a green bottle or something or something. Call these people up. Where are you guys? You've got to get out here. I saw the Phantom Horse last night. You know what we saw last night? The inside of a motel room in St. Louis. St. Louis? Our plane finally took off at 7 last night. We didn't call you because we wanted to surprise you. Only the next thing we knew, we were being diverted to St. Louis on account of bad weather. So the airline put us up at a motel. But when we came back to the airport this morning, guess what? You're fogged in, and your plane's got more mechanical problems. We're fogged in. I have never seen fog this thick. Visibility's three feet tops. You can barely drive in this stuff, let alone land and take off. Let's change the subject. So you saw the phantom horse? Last night, right after the campfire, this glowing horse appeared out of nowhere, then went galloping away. And right after that, the main pipe in the pump house sprang a leak. Another case of bad luck? I think not. So while everyone's attention was on the horse, someone sabotaged the pump house. First the rattlesnake, now this. Yikes. That's it for right. now. Thanks oh, for hands. calling. Bye, Nan. All right. Let's go talk to people. Is he in here? He's not. Um... Mineral deposits? Shady mine, rattlesnake mine, arch mine, tumbleweed. Limestone. Phoenix. Can I help you find something? No, actually, I pretty much found everything on my own. For your information, I got those maps because I was hoping there might be a long-lost gold mine or two around here. But like most of my get-rich-quick ideas, it didn't pan out. Apparently, there's no gold left in them thar hills. Them or thar. silver or copper or anything else. Now, I don't ever want to catch you in my stuff again. Yes? I'd like to apologize. Just proves we're birds of a feather. I've been known to go poking through other people's stuff myself. Really? Got any chores you want me to do? Have you been out to the pump house? Have you been out to the pump house? All the water to the ranch house has been cut off. 
The livestock will still get water from the windmills, but we humans are gonna have to get every single drop of water we use from the faucet in the pump house. And that's gonna be a royal pain. Why can't that darn horse do its cursed thing somewhere else? I'm inclined to think that someone, not something, is responsible for the damage to the pump house. I saw the pipe. It was rusted through. That's why it burst. That and bad vibes from that equine banshee. Equine banshee. Got any chores you want me to do? Do exactly what you did for me yesterday, oh, and I'll Jesus. be forever grateful. Start by picking all the ripe stuff in the garden again. Here we go again. Baskets outside. Well, I'd better get going. Drop by any time. Yeah, well, this is going to be a shit show. Harrison's yellow. Let's go make a fool of ourselves. I need a basket. side I get rid of the snake. Geo survey. SWGS, this is Gaza. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. Not too long ago, you provided this person I know with a map that showed the locations of mineral deposits in central Arizona. That's what I'm here for. Unusual for Is there any chance you might remember talking to that particular person? I might. We got a lot of maps on Arizona mineral deposits, though. Know which one it was? The number on it was PUB893A. Publication 893 Alpha. Let me put it up on my screen here. Last person I mailed a copy to was Shorty Thurmond. That's your friend? Yes, as a matter of fact, it is. According to my notes, he just started a job in the Shadow Mountain area and figured he'd go looking for gold on his off hours. You keep notes on all the calls you get? In a bureaucracy like this one, you never know. When something goes south and fingers start pointing, it's always good to have your side of the story all nice and documented. 
How likely do you think it is that Shorty will find any gold around Shadow Mountain? Oh, he might find a nugget or two, but from the looks of the maps I sent him, any ore out there would be of such low quality that attempting to extract gold from it would be pointless. That's interesting. What is? Apparently, this Shorty person asked me if I knew anything about Dirk Valentine's treasure. Really? Do you remember what he said? As I recall, he'd heard a rumor that some outlaw had buried some kind of treasure near Shadow Mountain. He thought it might be in an old mine shaft or something. And what did you tell him? Nothing. I didn't know anything about it. Well, thank you, Geza. No problem. What did you say your name was again? Nancy... Drew. Nancy Drew. Asked a lot of questions. Didn't buy any maps. But she really appreciated your taking the time to talk to her. Be sure to put that in your notes too, okay? Got it. Goodbye, Miss Drew. Bye. <laughs> All right. Is hey, the snake still here? There's a snake out here, my guy. Pick those vegetables for me yet? Well, I need those vegetables, Nancy. All right, how do you get rid of a snake? Anything on the web about it? Uh, internet browser. Rattlesnakes. Didn't I hit rattlesnakes? All right, let's try this again. Five ripe Romanos, right? Old ivory egg. Northern Lights, what were they? Um, Beef Steak, Northern Lights, Bicolored One Right. Those really aren't bi-colored. We'll leave them. Uh, Beefsteak, a red, right? Golden Queen. Black Turtle. Golden Queen and Black Turtle.
Golden Queen, Black Turtle. Uh, orange, yellow, ripe. So they're not right. The Golden Queen aren't ripe. About the Black Turtle. I guess it'd be these, right? It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. Pick those vegetables for me yet? Take a look. Oh, no! You pick stuff that wasn't right oh, yet come on. again! Oh, well, there's only one thing to do. I don't understand, dear. Didn't Shorty tell you to only pick things that were ripe? Yes. But he says that you went out and picked vegetables that weren't ripe. Yes, I'm afraid I did. Oh, dear. That garden is an important source of food for us. Okay. We simply can't have someone picking things willy-nilly and wasting perfectly good vegetables. I yeah, got it. Ed. We could wind up with scurvy. You're just not responsible enough for ranch life yet, dear. Oh, my goodness. So why don't you okay. go back to River Heights? And just as soon as you've developed the proper respect <clears throat> for produce, we'll invite the you The proper back. respect right? for produce. The proper respect for produce. Old ivory. Just double check the old ivory. ones these weren't good enough and then what these it's so hot I should get these vegetables into shorty right away there's more rap stuff out there than that you bet there is One of those. Oh, the lights aren't right. Is that it? I'm just missing that one it's thing. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. Pick those vegetables for me yet? Take a look. Good for you. Whew. Now, if you just fill that egg basket <clears throat> for me again, we'll be all set. Well, I'd better get going. Come back soon. All right, eggs. Eggs are out here, right? Oh, we have the egg basket, okay.
Alright, we're leaving that one alone. Hopefully that's enough eggs. Got those eggs for me? Right here. Good for you. Whew. I need you to do one more thing. It's Tex's birthday. The Raleigh's told me to make him a cake. Now if I make it, he'll throw a fit. But if you make it, he might actually appreciate it. So why don't you dig a cake recipe out of the recipe box and have at it? I don't care when you make it, just so it's done by the end of the day. The icing's already made. Could I get a canteen of water from you? You betcha. You're good to go. Well, I'd better get going. Don't be a stranger. All right, that's where we're going to pause it. We'll come back and we'll make the cake in the next episode. So let's go ahead and save this game up. I appreciate you guys stopping by. I will learn my vegetables at some point. But for that, you guys have a great one. Talk to you soon.